Got a new gear review coming today. It's a Harley Benton 4x12. What's going on? I'm Travis. And I'm Tyler. This is Twisted Transcription Studios. Like we said earlier, we're going to be reviewing a Harley Benton a 4x12 today. It's uh, specifically the one that's got the uh, Celestian uh, Vintage 30s in it. This is some gear I didn't think we really needed needed, but after hearing it, we needed it. Yeah. yeah um, before, I was using an old combo. It's the Purple Edition Marshall, like the one behind Tyler's head. That was a solid stay down there, but it ran through a, a cab that God knows what speakers are actually even in it. <laughs> um, there's no telling. Uh, like we said, like you said, we upgraded to this Harley Benton. It's got Celestian Vintage 30s in it. It is a much different sound. Yeah. It's not got that low yeah. sludgy sound. It's more of a yes, it's, mid range. The other one like. was very dark. This one is not not dark. It's still <laughs> heavy, but it's yeah. like higher heavy. Well, you, you can pretty much watch a bunch of YouTubers and they, they say that vintage thirties are the gold standard for metal. That's just what the speakers you need to use. Um, we've got coming up some samples of both amps separate and together or one together and uh, we'll check that out in a minute but I just kind of want to run you down the specs of the uh, the cab itself where'd you get it from uh, Tolman actually it's a German company uh, they that's the Harley Benton brand um, they have guitars and cabs and the whole line I mean they're all dirt cheap uh, I think this cab was I want to say $380 plus shipping and handling but the crazy thing about that is, is you can't even buy four Celestian Vintage 30s for the price that you can get this amp or this cab. You're better off. You're better off just buying the cab. Less even, hassle. Even, yeah, even if you just wanted the speakers, just buy the cab and take the speakers out of it. I mean, it's cheaper to do yeah. it that way. It's weird. I don't know how they do it. I guess it's just volume. But anyway, I mean, it's, the Tolex is good. I mean, it is a cheaper amp, so you can't expect like the super high quality Tolex on the outside and stuff like that and all the detailing and the, like the logo on it isn't as fancy as the Marshall cab and stuff. But, but still, it's a huge step from where we were. Yeah, and I, I mean, to me, I'm not paying for the fanciness on the cab. I mean, it's, the speakers are what matters. And yeah, the cab construction does affect the sound some, but not as much as shit speakers do. <laughs> So this one compared to your other one, what, what's the pros and cons? So like I said, the speakers on this one are tremendously better than the old ones. Uh, the old ones are very dark, they're very old, honestly. Yeah. Um, uh, it's, it's, there's no telling what speaker's in it. I mean, really, there's no, no, there's no list and there's no label. So I don't know what, what I'm playing through with the old one. But the speakers in this one are much higher quality. The thing that the old one did have was, like I said, the Tolex was a little bit better. I mean, it is peeling in spots, it's old, but it's it's better Tolex, it's thicker, it could withstand a little bit more. Comes with wheels. Things. Yeah, the new one has wheels, <laughs> which is incredible. Like, God, nice. the other one is lugging it around the pain in the butt, but I'm honestly thinking this one, new one is much heavier, because... Probably, was, but I mean, as far as moving around in yeah, the isolation room yeah, and whatnot. It was 100 pounds, this new one was, and... I wish I could have used the wheels to get it in here because it was a monster to get down here. Especially, I mean, it's so big and yeah. awkward. That's the problem with calves. Having it on wheels is a definite plus. But overall, it is the a, the better cab with the two that I'm running. But I think I'm pretty much I'm pretty sure that I've decided I'm gonna just mic them both. Just because that old one does have that dark sound that I like and it it blended. I think I really like. Yeah, I know you come over the other day and we jammed out and he hooked them both up just to see what they would sound like and right. I was like yeah. yeah run them in tandem with the stereo the 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 new one actually has a stereo setting you can run both wires into it and it split stereo which is pretty cool but uh we're just gonna run one cab left side one cab right side actually what I'm really gonna do is when I'm when I'm able to mic both I'm just gonna track both together at the same time and then left and right them both together that way it's one cohesive sound but at any rate, we'll check, we'll check out some sounds right now. Uh, the first first sound you're going to get is from the old Marshall cab, so it might be familiar to y'all. So like I said, here comes the Marshall clip. It's going to be first.
So, like we said, it's very low. Yeah, it's dark. Sludgy, dark. It's dark. Um, and just so y'all know, I do have a widener on this. So, I mean, it's going to be stereo wide, and I didn't double track it um, just for the fact that I'm not using two mics on both hands together. So I just widened it in, uh, in post, and I also put a little bit of compression on it because the palm mutes are very boomy through that cab. So a little bit of compression on both. It's the exact same presets for both of them, so there's not any difference in post. So it is all just sound. But anyway, this one is definitely dark, um, and you'll be able to definitely tell with it stacking up against this next one we're about to play. We'll go ahead and play it so you don't forget what that first one sounds like. Here's number two, the Harley Benton cab. So yeah, that was the Harley Benton, the 4x12, and it's much brighter than the Marshall was. Just a completely different sound, man. Yeah. Like, I like it. I'm not, I'm not gonna say I don't like the Marshall because we've played with it for so long. I like both, and I'm ready to get the new SM57 so we can run both. Right. And you'll see more about that in our writing, recording, mixing episodes that we got going on. Right. Be sure to check that out. Link above. Um, so yeah, you heard that. It's brighter, completely different sound. What we're gonna do now is play them both at the same time for you. I went back in and tracked them both together. Um, since we don't have that extra SM57, I just tracked one and then went in and tracked the other one over it. Both of them again are widened and compressed the same way the other ones were. So we'll check them out right now. Personally, I really dig that. Yeah, it's got a good blend, man. It's got the mids and the low sound. Like it's just, right. it just meshes good. I become so accustomed to that kind of dark, sludgy sound since we've played it, it for so long. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of part of our sound yeah. now. Even though I, I really like that 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 mid, that cut through mid that the new the new cab has, and I mean it really can make pinch harmonics and everything just sing. But it's I still like that sludgy low end, so I, th I feel like that mix of both those cabs together is just top notch. Yeah, it's great. At any rate, like we said, or like I said earlier, um, you're looking you're looking between three hundred and fifty and four hundred fifty dollars after shipping, depending on where you're at in the world. Again, it does come from Germany. Surprisingly, it only took three days to get here. So, I mean, Toman is on top of their stuff. Go check them out. They've got excellent products and great pricing. Don't worry. I'm still waiting on symbols from Hong Kong. They'll probably be here in about a month. <laughs> At any rate, be sure you check out our other videos, our writing, recording, mixing playlist, and as well as our gear review playlist if you want to check out some of the stuff that we actively use. There is something I forgot to mention. Since you stayed to the end of the video, you'll know now. I did run the very thing through both of these recordings, so... Um, it, it, that does alter the sound a little bit, but we're not we're not looking for the sound through the head. We're looking to sound out of the cab. So the very thing is just doing its job, making my sound what it is. At any rate, make sure you uh, like and you subscribe and you hit that bell somewhere. And find us on Instagram and Facebook at Twisted Transcription. We'll see you next time. We got a new cab. <laughs> what? Did we get a new cab? Yeah, but I just don't like that. Okay, we'll say something.